हेलो फ्रेंड गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल आई होप यू विल बी फाइन देयर दिस इज योर होस्ट खान बाबा गॉड विल गिव यू मोर हैप्पीनेस एंड लॉन्ग लाइफ आई ट्राई टू माई लेवल बेस्ट टू गिव यू लेटेस्ट अपडेट अबाउट इराकी दिन आर सो प्लीज लाइक एंड शेयर माई वीडियो विद योर फ्रेंड एंड फैमिली विच विल हेल्प मी फॉर स्पोर्टिंग and now let's start the today information the electronic age is going to allow them to spend the money efficiently and for what the operational side of the budget and the investment side that's one of the key things sadani was waiting to be able to pay for he said he launched this program and they said they got started in implementation phase as of the 1st of october The investment portion of it has my concern because I think that's where we're going to be looking for the real effective exchange rate. The monetary reform is secured by the reserves. The reserves that back up the currency is the control that the CBI and Sala is talking about when he says we have a strong exchange rate at 1320 because he can control it and he can change it at any time he wants. He's not just talking about what they know they have the billions and billions of dinar that were brought back but it also includes all the tapped sources and untapped sources gold phosphate oil diamonds etc etc each one of these categories alone can support the monetary reform what do you get when you have the HCL nanoseconds later the new exchange rate The events you're seeing, the things that are happening right now, the alignment of many stars, of many events are only pointing in one direction, that there will be an announcement of a new exchange rate very soon to the Iraqi citizens. Unfolding structural economic transformation in Iraq. Iraq's successes, especially in the digital banking world, and them coming up to speed, tech-wise, with the rest of the world they have made great strides digitizing their economy to be more efficient and faster we are seeing the economic changes we need for them to change the rate october 1st is going to be good they get to go there meet with the world trade organization there's going to be information and reforms and requests made by the wto that they are going to hand off to iraq Iraq is going to go over there and drop off additional materials that was requested from the last meeting and ask questions to make sure their accession into the World Trade Organization continues to go as smoothly as possible. As far as the exchange rate is concerned, no it's not going to be brought up. There because that's not the job of the WTO. I'm expecting a lot of news throughout the week. I am expecting we will have an extremely busy 4-7 days right now. There are a number of groups with expectations for around the 12th. Everything appears to be lining up. I'm praying this is our week. I have extreme anticipation for this week. Thank you for watching my video. God bless you and take care.